Lunch lady, here we go, lunch lady mode. We went from Chinese farm girl to lunch lady. Ah, looks like you forgot to bring your lunch money today, kid. You're getting a cheese sandwich. Here's a slice of bread and a slice of American cheese. Bone apple teeth. This is my friend Para's Lisa cosplay. Everyone say thank you, Para. Hello, today we are getting into Lisa cosplay. I'm already wearing most of it. <laughs> but I'm gonna put on a little bit of extra makeup on top of my like normie ass makeup right now. We're gonna put the wig on and then maybe I'll go spiral. Lisa plays Genshin Impact. <laughs> I'm gonna be so out of character, guys. I'm not at all the like ara ara onesan that Lisa is. That's my type, okay? That's not who I am. That part is sorted out. That's not, that's a, that's a I simp, I don't want to be situation. Just realized it's more blue than purple. I think it's the lighting, guys. It is very purple in person. I think the camera is just like blue tinting everything. Oh man, maybe the white balance is off. It is a cloudy, rainy day, so maybe. Did she just ara ara? I do ara aras for free in this house, guys. They're like devalued here. Actually, let me also show you something else. This thigh slit, this part is, that's, there's nothing there. I had to put on special underwear. <laughs> That's part of why I was late, because I put the tights on, and then I was like, oh. <laughs> I, like my normal like granny panties are gonna work. <laughs> I'm gonna need like special, a special situation. One last thing. Can chat tell me where this goes? Who are the real Lisa fans in chat? Because clearly I'm not. Because I picked this up out of the like cosplay bag, and I was like, what the damn hell is this? No one's got it. No one's got it. No one's got it. Nope, not a single person's got it. I'm glad it's not just me. Yo, I thought I was the only fake fan here. Oh, he also got it. Yes, bean scrims. Gyro, you guys got it. Ankle, yes. Hana got it. Ankle. I have, I have like exercise socks on. <laughs> like, like, look at my Costco Pumas that I put on over the tight. But yeah, they go like, like that. <laughs> I had to look it up. I legit, I was like, oh, it's a choker. And then I like started trying to put it around my neck and I was like, it only goes halfway around my neck. It's not a choker. <laughs> so let's do the makeup. This is a Gudethama eyeshadow palette by Holika Holika. Any Gudethama fans in chat? I'm a big Gudethama fan. <laughs> this is one of my favorite palettes of all time. I bought both of these cause I was like, Gudethama, I need both. So I, I bought two. There's like a strawberry shortcake one and a tiramisu one. So I bought both. It's amazing. And it, it came with like a plastic cover. Do you guys see this? It's like little, there's a Gudethama face over here. There's, it's just like a little comic panel kind of. This is my favorite eyeshadow brush. It's like slightly angled, but fluffy at the same time. I find that it's the best for pigment application. Um, Should I wear eyelid tape? Nah, that's so much effort. No, no, no. And then it fucks with my eyelids. Does anyone else have this problem? I don't know who else here like wears eyelid tape, but when you wear eyelid tape, it like makes your eyelids kind of wonky after you take them off for like a while. I think it's probably just me because I'm the only person I know with like these kinds of eyelids, like the, this like multi-lidded situation. You, you see how I don't, I don't have just one fold. I have like four. <laughs> it's never one clean fold in this house. It's always like a bunch. Okay, let's just put some like dark browns in the corner. I don't know if this is gonna be dramatic enough for Lisa, but I'll just deepen it if necessary. When you apply eyeshadow, be gentle. I know people think they have to like really rub it in with pig pigment, but the trick is actually to dust it on gently and it applies much more evenly and becomes easier to blend later on as well. And I just usually blend with my fingers. I don't, my blending brush doesn't really do its job. I think maybe because I have cheap brushes, but. Wow, a little bit of eyeshadow goes a long way, guys. I already feel like 20 times hotter, like physically, not like physically. Wait, hold on, that, wait. <laughs> I wish I felt 20 times hotter. Fizz wait, how, how do you, wait. Hotter, f maybe it's figurative and literal. I already feel 20 times hotter figur figuratively. Yes. Man, brain, brain don't, brain no worky. I think women's makeup is easier than men's. I'm gonna be real because the men is like, cause I wasn't, I wasn't assigned male at birth. So it's a little harder for me to do like a convincing boy toy look. <laughs> But the girly look, I can do. <laughs> Just slather on some eyeshadow and pray. All right, so I put on a bit of eyeshadow. It's not super high effort. I just like blah, blah, blurred a bit on in the outer corners because that gives, you know, a bit of dimension. I think I'm just gonna do eyeliner now and then falsies and then we'll see what needs to be added because I never really know. I feel like it's best for me to just put the wig on and then be like, yeah, let's add a bit here and there instead of trying to do it before I put the, what's it called, the wig on. Just gotta pray you look good. Exactly, Ajax, that's the cosplay trick. The wigs do make the difference, Apple. I feel like, especially with cosplay, you like put on a shit ton of makeup, you look at yourself, you're like, I look like a fucking clown. Why is there so much makeup on my face? And then you put the wig on and you're like, why do I look like I'm not wearing makeup? Like any makeup. <laughs> It's just different. Eyeliner time, this is the part where I get scared, especially cause I'm not used to holding a mirror in one hand while doing my eyeliner, but we'll see. Pray for me, pray for me, pray for me. 
Well, I saw it with the wing. Hold on, I'm scared. This is always the hardest part of makeup is the eyeliner. Oh God, oh God, what have I done? 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 Done, done. What have I done? What have I done? What have I done? Done, done. What have I done? What have I done? What have I done? Done, done. Da, 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 da. I think I did an okay job on this eye, guys. Okay, let's let's do the other one. Oh my lord. Oh, I'm so scared. I'm fucking I'm gonna cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. You're perfect. <laughs> I hate that line. It hurts me so much. Okay, so I fucked up a little. Um, it's fine. We're just we're just gonna live with it. It's it'll it'll be okay. I I'm okay. You're okay. You're doing great. You're doing great, sweetie. I'm simultaneously the kid on the soccer field and the soccer mom cheering on the sidelines. You're doing great, sweetie. It doesn't matter that you just kicked the ball into the enemy's goal. You're doing great. My brother actually did that once when he was a kid. My brother literally kicked the, he didn't know which goal was, they didn't understand the rules of soccer. They were like five. Uh, so he kicked the ball into the enemy goal. To be fair, the enemy, the opponent tried to block the ball and he made it pass. So he technically scored. I don't know how it counts. In that case, does it not matter who kicks it in? As long as it makes it into the goal, it's a point for the other team. I actually don't know the, the rules of soccer. I almost said the laws of soccer as if it was like a nation. When will I learn to shut up and do my eyeliner in quiet? Hold up. Did I fuck up? The answer is always yes to that question. Usually when my eyeliner feels dry, I grab like a baby wipe and then I'm like, dab, 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 dab. And then it like kind of has like some marks on it. And then I'm like, okay, cool, we can resume. Okay, after the eyeliner went on, I felt like my eyeshadow is not enough. You guys see, cosplay is just trial and error. It's just like, okay, let's do the eyeshadow. It looks good. Put the eyeliner on. Okay, now we need a little more eyeshadow. Okay, now we're good. Okay, now the eyebrows look too arched. Wipe it off, try again. Okay, now I feel like I need some eyelid tape. Let's put the eyelid tape on. Oh, okay, now I know what we're missing. We're missing falsies. Like, it's just a whole process. It's an entire thing. Oh my God, good as hama help. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is use the eyeshadow to like bring up the outer corners a bit, just so it lifts higher. Do you see that? Now that it's higher up, the eyes look like they tilt upward a little bit more because she's got that like foxy look, right? Like Lisa's up to no good. Lisa's gonna come do some unspeakable things to you if you don't return your library books. I need I need that that look. Some people do it explicitly with eyeliner. It all depends on your eye shape. For me, I, it usually has to be eyeshadow. Did I do it? I think so. I think we're good. There you go. All right, guys, the falsies are going on. I already have mascara on today, so you guys don't have to watch me suffer through that or do my boob mascara thing. The reason I put mascara on before my falsies is because I don't want the mascara to glue my lashes to the falsies. So then I can reuse the falsies more is like my logic there. And also if you're wearing the mascara, it helps to bridge the falsies up. That's just my logic. I think that's how it works. I don't really know to be honest, but that's what works for me. Everything has different things that work for them. So figure out what works for you. Usually while I wait for the glue to dry a little bit before putting it on, I'm like doing my mascara. Can I See the hat? Yeah, it could like you. It's right here. This is the hat. It's real cute. I have to do a Toma cosplay, do I? His outfit is so ugly though. He's, I don't know, I'm not, I don't know if I want to. I thought about it. I genuinely thought about it. I shopped around, I saw some options, and then I was like, this bitch ugly. Goro though. I think Goro is a must. Goro's outfit is like so beautifully designed. I desperately want to wear it. It's just one of those outfits where it's like, oh, that's so nice. Put it on my body, you know? Sometimes that's all cosplay is. Wow, that's so cute. I want to wear it. Oh, I missed two show me something redeems. Are you serious, artificial idiot? Some genius put Ito's voice on Klee demo. Oh my God. I haven't even watched Ito demo. I mean, who's Ito? Never, I don't know who Ito is. There's no Ito in Genshin Impact. Ito who? I only know, yeah, I, there's an Ito himbo, but then he didn't actually show up in Genshin Impact. So I think they were just like, I think it was just like a concept, you know? Um, so what I'm doing right now is just putting a bit of shimmer on my inner eye. This is to help the eye pop. I'm using a, like a rose tinted shimmer pencil, but I think gold probably also would work really well for Lisa. If anything, I probably should have done that. I don't think it's too late yet. I think we'll put gold on the lids. I want a deep Dom voice Ito. <laughs> I watched the demo, I didn't roll for him. I'm sorry, who's Ethel? I don't, I don't know who the fuck he is. So therefore, <laughs> oh, I think the eyelashes are uneven. We're gonna pretend nobody noticed. We're gonna pretend I didn't see. We're gonna, no, I can't. I can't live with myself. There's no way. White haired on you with red horns. When you watch his demo, you truly know what you're missing. No, what? Who's Ethel? He's not a himbo. That's all I care about. If he's not a himbo, I don't want it. It's very simple. Miho is himbophobic. It's so true. It's so true. All the thick boys are, none of them are nice and stupid and big. The trifecta has not been complete. There is no himbo in Genshin Impact, as far as I know. Slimbo. <laughs> That's just a decent man. <laughs>
If he is nice and stupid but not thick, that's just a decent man. Where are the thick boys? There are, um, well, we've got the Electro Fatui, and we've got the Blacksmiths. They're thick. And we've got Cedric from the Adventurers Guild. He's thick, but none of them are himbos. <laughs> abs for days, but noodle arms. Yeah, the abs are like whatever. It's the arms. It's the arms, guys. He's a skinny noodle. Are you kidding me? He's just a decent man. Ethel's just a decent man. You want a real himbo? Galotimos. <laughs> Let's talk about Galotimos. <laughs> yeah, fan art Ethel's the only Ethel that exists for me. No abs, no arms, only disappointment. Haha, <laughs> I just can't believe they basically use- they literally use the same base model. It's like Zhongli with abs. Huh? That's not a himbo. There's no way that's a himbo. That's not even close. Are you kidding me? Why is it so hard for me to apply lashes today? Like, what is making it so difficult? Is Ethel cursing me for not calling him a himbo? Is that what this is? Is my refusal to acknowledge Ethel as a himbo or even a character in Genshin Impact screwing me from doing my eyelashes properly today? Is that what's happening? Man, are you kidding me? I have never, ever had this much issue. Eyelashes come easy to me, guys. This is not my usual struggle point. My usual struggle point is eyeliner. Oh my god, it's so far off the lash line. Who cares? I don't care anymore. I officially give up. I think it's exactly the same as last time that I applied it. An effort was made. Jolene Lee's not a himbo. Oh my god, Jolene's not even close to a himbo. He's so skinny. Please, you can't call skinny men a himbos. They're just decent men if they're nice and stupid. And Jolene's too smart. I mean, he's stupid in other ways, I guess, but he's like too knowledgeable, you know? Himbos have to be idiots. They can be emotionally intelligent, but they can't have book smarts. That literally, that breaks himbo law. Bethel should be buff. I agree. She's too skinny. Well, yeah, I need her to be super buff. And then it doesn't matter whether she's tall or short to me. I feel like buff and tiny, also valid. We're gonna move on to, I don't know if I should do shimmer or gold. We'll do shimmer. Between shimmer and metallics, I feel like the vibes are very different. So the things with shimmers and metallics is don't use a brush, right? I applied like this dark part with a brush. Don't use a brush for shimmers. So I'm using this like shimmery part of my Gudetama Tiramisu palette and I put it right on the center of the lid it kind of functions as a highlight a little bit and it sort of naturally blends into the dark part I don't think it really shows on camera properly to be honest but uh this is the best I got you can kind of see it on my finger I guess what are you guys on about I really want buff women in Genshin I agree Daisu I don't know if they're ever gonna give it to us though if they can't even give us a, a truly buff man are they really gonna give us a buff woman like I don't think it's happening I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news but let's be realistic Mihoyo they're chickens. They do not appreciate the power of a truly buff woman. Mirror maiden playable when? Oh, you're right. We did get a buff lady. Her name is the mirror maiden. Well, I guess she's just tall though. I don't know if she's buff. Sara could be buff. Sara should be. Sara needs to be buff. I need a buff Sara when. Buff Sara when. Okay, I'm realizing right now that because the falsies are on, I'm feeling a little top heavy on the eye makeup. So I'm gonna add a bit of eyeshadow to the bottom here just to balance it out a little more. And I think it'll help counterintuitively lift the eye of it. Yeah, see how it rounds it out? It like softens the whole look. Just adding a little bit of bottom eyeshadow just now. Is the makeup done? <laughs> Am I free? I literally didn't do like, I usually would do like contour and blush and highlight, but like I didn't do any of that shit. Maybe we'll do, we'll do a little bit of highlight guys. I'm using the upfront metallic gold from the Give It To Me Straight palette. It's like quite bright. Once it gets onto your skin, it's like disappears. Or at least for me, highlighter for some reason like barely works for me. So I have to use like really intense shimmer shadows, shimmer shades. I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, see, there's a bit of highlight. That was pretty good. Okay, bit of nose bridge and then a little dab right on the cupid's bow, right here. You see the glow here now? I think it really makes the lips look really nice. So I like highlighting the cupid's bow. Okay, I think we're good. I'll save lip color for after the wig and like eye contacts and stuff like that. Let me just get my wig caps on really quick. Lunch lady, here we go, lunch lady mode. We went from Chinese farm girl to lunch lady. Ah, looks like you forgot to bring your lunch money today, kid. You're getting a cheese sandwich. Here's a slice of bread and a slice of American cheese. Bone apple teeth. Oh my God, Max, thank you for the uwu redeem. Okay, you really want uwu redeem when I'm in lunch waiting mode? That's what you want to see? You didn't want to wait? This sounds like it might get messy. Here comes the wig. Hello, wig. Welcome. I know, I look like a different person. Who is this? Who's this bitch? I don't know her. No, I'm Lisa Minchi, obviously. What kind of songs do you think Lisa is into? Unlike Toma, Lisa is not a twice stan. <gasps> Lisa stands Mama Moo. There you go. Why do I feel like I'm not wearing makeup? See what I mean, guys? I like had a shit ton of makeup on and I put the wig on and I'm like, something's wrong. <laughs> Feels like she would also listen to Red Velvet. I see that, I see that. And like FX, F, F for FX. 
truly miss them a lot. All right, let me pop in a bit of lip color really quick. This is my favorite lip stain. They discontinued it apparently. I'm sad. I don't know what to do without this lip stain. <laughs> the contacts are in. They're very green. <laughs> there she is, our witchy girl. Oh my God, there's literally no way for this to even stay on. I like, I have to hold the hat. We're not keeping the hat on for the rest of the stream, guys. I just, I'm just gonna, here. Should I, should I pose for you all? Let me, let me figure something out. Let me try to make it not look like I'm holding the hat. Hold on. I wanna, I wanna show off these tights though. These tights are nice. Just pretend this gamer chair is like a, like a throne. <laughs> Wait, I don't have the gloves on. Here it is. There's Lisa. <laughs> Shit, oh my god, stop exposing me. Here we are, here we are. I don't, oh, here. <laughs> hey, girls. <laughs> hey, girly. What did she say? <laughs> Dude, Luke, shut up. Okay, I keep a straight face. I love her little Chinese shaka. <laughs> it's like so cute. She calls our. I almost said Artem. She calls Ether shaka. It's adorable. Hold on, let me pull her up. Let's pour some tea. Ready? We're gonna say her afternoon tea line. Here's our Mad Hatter tea set. If the hat doesn't fall off and ruin it. Other side? Uh oh, the hat's falling. Oh my god, this is horrible. You guys see my cosplay sucks? Don't get into this hobby. Just try it once and be like, just to be able to say that you did it and then leave. Run and never come back. It's the worst hobby. We missed uwu tea time. You're right. <gasps> You're right. We're supposed to be doing uwu with Dean. Tips from a cosplayer. Step one, don't. Okay, jokes aside though, people are constantly coming into chat and asking me things like, I'm really interested in starting to get into cosplay, but like it's really intimidating and seems like there's a high barrier to entry. So like, how do I get started? And I do plan on making a video on this at some point, but until then, I do really recommend you check out some of the options over on Skillshare. Skillshare is the sponsor of this video. They are an online learning community with tons of different topics of classes, including cosplay prop making and basic sewing techniques. I personally just started taking this sewing class taught by Denise Byron, where she covers everything from sewing machine use to basic stitches to seams and to finishing. I personally hand sew everything because my sewing machine is like this old beat up hand-me-down and I'm really afraid of it. And hopefully this class will help me finally get over that fear so I can start building things from scratch again because it's been a really long time for me. Skillshare is a great way to get started with any new interest or hobby. They are constantly adding new classes, they're totally ad-free, and they have subtitles available in like four different languages. So what are you waiting for, right? The first 1,000 of my subscribers to hit the link in the description or pinned in the top comment below will receive a free one month trial to Skillshare so that you can start exploring your creativity today. Okay, let's go back to the Lisa cosplay. Hmm. Hmm. We throw up. Perfect. Any kawaii ko chan? We're in uwu wudi mode right now. If you guys make me try to say anything, it's gonna be, it's gonna be cursed. Oh, my little cute. Actually, I'm the most cute. Little Qian Qian, turn your shoulder. You're in for a little shock. <laughs> Let's do all of her wines. All of her wines. You're in for a little shock. You're in for a little shock. Come a little closer. Come a little closer. Blitz. Blitz. Wait. Blitz. <laughs> You've been a naughty boy. You've been a naughty boy. <laughs> Let's spark things up a little. Let's spark things up a little. Surrender and I'll be gentle. Surrender and I'll be gentle. <laughs> wait, wait. I'm gonna do this next one with a straight face. I can do it. Try not to enjoy this too much. Try not to enjoy this too much. No pain, no gain. <laughs> oh my god, I should do the giggle and everything. <clears throat> no pain, no gain. <laughs> oh my, what do you think, cutie? What do you think, cutie? This is what I look like when I try not to laugh. My mouth just goes like... Like you're obviously laughing, bitch. You're not fooling anyone. <laughs> oh, let's do some low HP lines. <laughs> I have some for you too. I've never heard that before. Whoa. Oh no. Wank, wank. I'm gonna ruin my gloves. You're right. Your gloves are really nice. You shouldn't ruin them. Going out is tiring. Going out is tiring. I've never heard that before. Well, yeah, you should never let a queen get hurt in the Grand Marina. <laughs> you get it. You understand? <laughs> Don't be such a brute. Don't be such a brute. Why is the sun out? I canceled my shoot because it was raining. All right, I'm going to stop with the uwu redeem. I think we're good. Let's do some of these lines like for real, for real. Hold on. Let me find a fun one. 
perfect weather for sipping a cup of tea while gazing out the window. Except it got sunny. Asshole. Uh, you guys are right. It is a lot more blue. I hate this. How do I fix? Maybe like this? Is that better? I think this is more purple now. I hue shifted it slightly. I just read the line before it played. Hold on. I can see how hard you've been working today. Let me think of a way to reward you. She just straight up says that? That's like her official English voice line? They just give her lines like that? What in the- I can see how hard you've been working today. Let me think of a way to reward you. They just give her lines like that. What does she say in Chinese? Hold on. Now I need to know. Is it even close to being that suggestive? Wait. Oh, it's much more like Onesan. You know, like, ah, oh, Onesan seen how hard you've been working today. Like, let me find a little reward for you. Like, it's it's not as like, let me think of a way to reward you. Like, it's much more like, let older sister get you a little something something. You know, like, I'm gonna buy you a little ice cream cutie. <laughs> it's a different, it's very different. It's a very different vibe. <laughs> The Japanese one? Really? Let's hear it. Hold on, let me switch. Let's switch to the Japanese one. Oh. This one's in between the English one and the Chinese one. The meaning is closer to the Chinese one. The tone is more like the English one. I see it. I see it. Yeah, that, that's pretty sultry. <laughs> oh, I just thought of something. Lisa with glasses. What would that look like? Hold on. <gasps> Yo, Lisa with glasses, a look. Please, Mihoyo, give us a glasses librarian skin. <gasps> I need it. Mihoyo, listen to me. Mihoyo, give us glasses, Lisa. I need it. Mihoyo sleeping on the glasses. It's true. Maybe they know it's too powerful and they have to bait us with the skin later. I'm just, I'm actually gonna pin this back, guys. I know it's like inaccurate, but it'll keep it out of my face. We're going into gamer mode. This is Lisa gamer mode, okay? I'm inventing this skin right now. Gamer mode Lisa. Gamer mode Lisa, let's go. Who's your least favorite Genshin character? There's a Genshin character who doesn't exist. His name is Ethel. <laughs> He's not my least favorite. I don't really, I don't hate any of them. I love all of them. Leave Ethel alone. Who's Ethel? I can't leave someone alone if I don't even know who they are. You can respect the Ito slander. <laughs> I can't slander someone I don't even know. Who's Ethel? Never heard of him. Don't know who Ethel is. Wow, look at this Goro banner. Look at him. Look at his ears, they're so cute. Man, it's so weird how there's a lot of like, they put a lot of negative space on this banner, guys. Like there's like a lot of room on the left. You see that? That's so weird. There's no featured five star either. That's so strange. I feel like usually there's, there's usually, I've never seen like a, like a banner without a featured five star. I'm so glad they've decided to like showcase their four star characters more, guys. I'm really proud of them. Yeah, Barbara's just like vibing in front. I'm glad Vi Barbara gets to take center stage for once. It's so great. Yeah, I guess the negative space is like a really, it's a really artistic rendition. Um, it's really about, you know, I feel like because they left so much negative space on the left, it really draws our attention to the four stars. And it's like saying, you know, it's paying tribute to the fact that Barbara used, she was gonna be a five star and now she's not. So they're, you know, they're making it work so that she can get a little bit of uh, the full screen attention for once. What brown color? Oh, the brown color in the back? That's for Godel. It's Godel's banner, guys. This is Godel's banner. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> He's a new character. We're all really excited about him. That's why we're all excitedly rolling this banner, right? Because Godel's new character. Really excited. He's a great Geo support. He's like an incredible Geo support. He's really great with uh, Noelle. She's the best Geo, I, I guess the only Geo Claymore DPS, actually. Her name is Noelle. She's really great. She's also a four star, but don't let that trick you. She's a really good Geo Claymore DPS and like literally the best for Godel to support. So I'm really glad they gave us a Godel banner. I think it's it's very <laughs> sweet of them to, to to feature their four stars the way that they do. You know, they really do deserve more attention than they get. Noel Appreciation Squad. Yeah, exactly. Let's bring back uh, Glasses Lisa one last time for y'all before we end. Now, now. So cool. I need some of her Chinese lines. We did some English impressions. I think we should do some Chinese impressions. Move the glasses down. Oh, you're right. She should do the like over the glasses look. It seems you have a late library book. A late return. I'll make sure you pay the full price. Okay, here we go. 任務是做不完的. I've never called myself Jie Jie before. Jie Jie. Have I? I don't think I have. How does she say the English one? I guess I won't imitate it. I'll just read it. Why not keep me company for a while? There will be plenty of time for work later. I'm in crisis. That came out too naturally. That was too easy. There will be plenty of time for work later. 
the librarian look hey <laughs> you want an ada ada okay let me do my best <clears throat> hold on i'm gonna try hard this ada ada no more awa awas in this house hold on mookie does the best ada ada in my opinion so they trained me a little bit on it i'm gonna follow their example ada ada kawaii ko chan how'd i do that <laughs> what the fuck was that <laughs> So thank you, Para. Chad, please help me thank Para for lending me this cosplay or you never would have gotten any of this. Cause the, the shipping delays right now are insane. It's like three months wait time to get like any cosplays from Helva at this point. Valley Girl Lisa. Thank y'all so much for coming to my stream. Whether it's a morning, afternoon, or evening, have a wonderful time and I will see you guys next stream. Let me put my hat on to set you guys off. Bye guys. Bye. Thanks for coming. <laughs>